I just passed the 1600 km mark on my Yamaha MT-07, which means it is finally broken in, and I thought I'd share my new rider experience of my time so far. My day-to-day -day life is not interesting enough to document or vlog every single day, but there are some moments, things or thoughts that I value a lot and that I wanted to share. So this is Ismona Moments. In Germany, you basically need to go to school before getting a driver's license. You need to take courses to learn all the rules and techniques, but also you need to do many driving and security lessons. Oh, and first aid is also mandatory. After all those lessons, then you are allowed to take a written exam and the final driving test. But just like school, you will learn many important things, but some things they just don't teach you. One example is how to fill up gas. So, I have been driving cars since I was 16 and I know that you stick the fuel hose into the gas tank, pull the lever, lock it and the sensor on the front of the fuel hose stops the gas flow as soon as the tank is full. As a beginner, obviously you want to do everything correctly and more importantly, you don't want to damage your brand new and expensive toy. Therefore, I was overprotective, put in the fuel hose and started to fill up my motorbike's tank. Physically, the tank of the motorbike is just smaller and flatter than the car gas tank obviously. And therefore the fuel hose of course stopped filling gas right away. And since I was as I said overprotective, I therefore was riding my first couple of times with a half full tank and was actually wondering if my gas meter was damaged. Until I realized that I had to hover the hose slightly over the tank and fill it up manually until it is full. Ok in hindsight this is probably pretty obvious. But if you have spent so much money on a new toy and you basically have no experience or no clue, then you might not think of it. As you might remember from my first video about my first motorbike, initially I wanted the XSR700 before getting this MT-07. And although I heard and have seen many good reviews about the MT-07, many of them said that this is a wheelie monster and pops wheelies almost by itself. And this thought alone scared me quite a bit as a beginner obviously. So as I went to the store to try the XSR700, I realized that it was bigger and higher than expected. So I sat down on the MT-07 just for fun. And my first impression was, wow, this is just like a bicycle and feels very easily to handle. So I took it for a test ride and was sold straight away. The MT-07 is very easy to handle and due to the height and weight, it doesn't intimidate you as a beginner. It rather gives you a lot of confidence, especially with the torque. You just know that it can overtake a car or get you out of trouble without being too much. And I never gotten in trouble of it popping a wheelie. Getting back to the tank, I can get around 220 kilometers with one full tank, which seems pretty good to me. I love riding this bike and I have been doing quite a lot of tours around Hamburg with it. The Navigon Cruiser app, albeit still being quite buggy, is quite good for that. Just tell it which direction you want to go, how long you want to ride and it will give you a nice round trip. One of the downsides I found with the MT-07 so far is the seat. After about 2 hours it gets quite uncomfortable. Since I have quite small hands, the first change I did to this bike were these Pezzo brake and clutch levers. The stock levers on any motorbike are just too far away for my fingers and get uncomfortable after a lot of braking and clutching in the city. For me there's not much to criticize about the Yamaha MT-07. Granted, I only have the BMW FS700 and the Yamaha MT-09 as a comparison, which are both slightly more expensive. But I really enjoy this bike quite a lot and more importantly I feel safe on it and as a beginner I can handle it quite well. Furthermore, I don't feel like it will bore me fast. I rather feel that I will keep it for a very long time. So if you are a beginner rider like me, then I can highly recommend the Yamaha MT-07. But try it out first of course. Let me know in the comments below if you ride or maybe if you want to start riding and what was or maybe will be your very first motorcycle. And like always, if you have any more questions, please comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And please feel free to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell icon so you won't miss the next videos. Thanks!